Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. And I want to begin by saying the answer is no one. Absolutely no one. The answer is no one. And so you say, well, what's, what's the question? I want you to figure out that question as you listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 9. Remember the answer, no one. Here, here it is. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure, perfectly pure? Who can say, I am clean and without sin? And the answer is, no one. So here's the questions again. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure? Who can say, I am clean and without sin? What the Bible says is no one. Let me tell you a little story about my family. Kind of, kind of just give you a picture of my family, okay? Here, here's, here's my family. I'm a sinner, Kevin Harney, who married a sinner, Sherry Harney. And then we had three little sinners, Zach and Josh and Nate. And they've grown up to be bigger sinners. And you say, well, that's a pretty pessimistic look at the world. No, it's just a biblical look. And there's just the reality that we are not perfect. Our hearts are not perfectly pure. Our minds are not perfectly pure. Our mouths are not perfectly pure. We've all sinned against God because God is holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty. So as you look at this passage, here's the simple things we learn. My heart is not pure. But what the Bible teaches is God is cleansing me. As I follow Jesus, he's cleansing me. We can learn in the Bible, I am not clean, but the Bible also teaches that God is still at work. He's cleaning us up. We can't say, I am without sin, because actually every one of us has been tainted by sin. But when you read this book, the whole of the book, the Old Testament where we find Proverbs and the New Testament and the story of Jesus, we see Jesus on the cross declaring, it is finished. What's he talking about? Our sin, our impurities. He's washed us clean. He's offered his life. He's made a way for us to become clean, forever clean. Pure in the eyes of God, not because I am pure, but because He's pure. And He's given His holiness, His purity, His cleansing to me and to you if we place our faith in Him. So here's the word of encouragement today. Be honest about who you are and who you are in Christ. Remember who you are. Remember the sin that Jesus came to cleanse. But never forget who Jesus is, what He's done, the price He paid, and how He's cleaned you up how he's purified you and made you and me and me and my wife and our three sons pure and cleansed through faith in Jesus. Will you pray with me? Oh God, this question is piercing. Who can say my heart's pure? Who can say I've never sinned? And we declare the truth of your word. No one, not even us. But we thank you that we can also declare I have been made clean. I am being washed up. I am pure before you, God, because your son Jesus paid the price. For that, we give you thanks and praise. Help us walk in the assurance of that wisdom this day. We pray in Jesus' beautiful, glorious, and purifying name. Amen. Hey, we'll hope you have a great rest of your week. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you online or on campus at 9 or 11 for worship. If you're part of another local church, thanks for being part of Weekly Wisdom. God bless you as you are part of the life of your congregation. Have a great day.